factors for the rise of Buganda Kingdom. Uh, after looking at the origins of Buganda, we now look at uh, why the kingdom was able to grow so rapidly and expand to those heights where by the 19th century it was uncontrollable, it had become too big. So these are the factors. Factor number one was the size. Size. Buganda was small and compact. It was small from the small nucleus we saw, from the nucleus of three counties, that is uh, Chadondo, Chadondo, Busiro, and Mawokota. Mawokota, those three. So these were the ones that formed the original Buganda. So these three, small as they were, were easy to administer, meaning easy to manage. Easy to do what? To manage. Because of the size. It was easy to manage, and hence it grew rapidly. Factor number two was the good climate coupled with fertile soils in Uganda. How important was that? That one enabled uh, the growing of crops, especially bananas, known as matoke in Uganda. And of course, the matoke or bananas was very important in sustaining, yes, to sustain the big population, yes, the ever growing size of population was going to be sustained by the food. So because of the production of, of bananas, there was no problem with the growing population. So the growing population was fed on this on the food, and that is their staple food, by the way. Matoke or bananas was the staple, is the staple food of the Baganda. So because of the growing of bananas in big, in large uh, varieties and numbers, it was enough to sustain the ever-growing size of population. The system of administration uh, was also another factor for rise. Uh, what was the system of administration? It was a centralized administration. So, how does that mean? All powers were vested in the Kabak. All the powers were vested in the Kabaka. So, from the top to the bottom. And he controlled his chiefs, as you shall see, in the organization. So, the chiefs who were so loyal, the chiefs were loyal obedient to the Kabaka, and because of this centralization of power, there was no problem uh, put internally within the kingdom. So it was able to, to, it was, it was easy to manage because of the system of administration that was a highly centralized and mean with all powers vested in the Kabaka who controlled his chiefs, hence no problem in admin. The language was another factor that uh, led to the rise of Uganda language, and the language was Luganda. Uh, the Uganda spoke the language known as Luganda, and that language alone was uh, used as a unifying factor. It was a unifying factor uh, uh, or cemented it cemented, cemented unity among the Baganda. It cemented unity among the Baganda, and of course, it was an identifier. Identifier. What do we mean by identifier? It was an identifier in the sense that when the Baganda spoke, Another Muganda was able to realize that this is a sense of belongingness. Yes, 
they, they, they used it to identify themselves. And like other, other tribes that reach in another community and stop using their language, the Baganda did not hide. So they, because they used their language so much, it cemented unity and at the same time identified them with others. Yes. So even when the Muganda is elsewhere, he will use that language. He will not use, even when they tell him to use the language of that area, he will not use it. So what does that mean? They very much uh, treasure their language. And that's why it was used as a fine factor, cemented unity, and an identifier of a Muganda. It's like a Muslim who goes on putting on a, a, a taban that kept in Tarabus to be identified as a Muslim. So the Baganda uh, used the language to identify themselves with their fellow Baganda. Trade was another factor. Uh, trade, especially the long distance trade. Uh, the Baganda traded with the Arabs at the coast uh, during the time of the long distance trade. And the because of the participation in the long distance trade, they were able to get a lot of items uh, from the Arabs. But that's why uh, they got uh, in touch with the Arabs early enough. And uh, that one also adds on another factor here early monopoly. Early monopoly over guns. Yes. Uh, they were able to get a lot of items and the, which uh, brought about growth and development. Uh, and they exchanged, with the, uh, they exchanged with the Arabs a lot of items. Internally, they sent, they sent slaves, uh, the they slaves that uh, they had raided from the neighboring states, like Bunyoro. The, 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 the slaves were exchanged with other items, clothes, and so on. Uh, guns and so on for defense and protection and for imperial conquest. Uh, then at the end of the day, apart from the external trade, they also carried out internal trade among the themselves uh, and sold the local items uh, within uh, the, 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 the kingdom. So that one alone led to rise and expansion. Effective system of succession. They had an effective system of succession. That is, the, the, the son to replace the Kabaka was chosen early by the leading ministers. Early enough, it was not just uh, choosing the elder one, like other kingdoms, like Bunyoro. Bunyoro, the elder son, would replace his, his, his father to become the new uh, king. But the Baganda chose the son, even when the father was still alive, was still ruling. So they chose the son early enough that this one would replace his father uh, upon his death. So that one minimizes successful disputes. That one minimizes successful disputes because all the princes already knew who was to succeed their what? Their dad. And so that one was also another factor that enabled Uganda to rise uh, to greater heights or greater horizons. Location was another factor that uh, enabled the rise of this great kingdom. Location, as earlier seen in the introduction and in the origins, that uh, it grew around the sources of Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria was uh, in the south, and uh, in the north, there was another greater lake that shielded Uganda and that was Choga. So because of this, these two formed what they called defensive barrier. They formed defensive barrier uh, from, from external from external threats. From external threats. So the defensive barrier created was enough to ensure that Buganda remained peaceful and free from external aggression because of those two uh, natural uh, barriers that could not allow 
people to attack from uh, the various directions. Uh, then another factor is uh, the Baganda's traditional way of life. Uh, traditionally, the Baganda were hard-working people. Yes, they were hard-working people, and because of that, they worked hard to ensure that uh, their kingdom grows uh, to greater heights. That's why it was able to grow rapidly. It grew rapidly because of the hard-working people. It's like today when we hear of China, China has hard-working people. That's why it has grown rapidly to even surpass other nations. So the Uganda, we are also known for hard work. And because of the hard work that we knew, about, I mean that they had, the Uganda worked hard to ensure that their kingdom grows very fast and surpassed other uh, neighboring kingdoms. Hospitality is another factor. Hospitality of the Baganda. Uh, the word hospitality means uh, being welcoming enough. They were welcoming. The Uganda were welcoming people. It was a welcoming society. And especially to the foreigners, especially to the foreigners like the Europeans. When we look at the early relationship between uh, Mutesa, Mutesa one and Stanley, yes, that can be a good example of the relations between Mutesa one and uh, Stanley, Henry Morton Stanley, uh, the first the first explorer to enter into Uganda. So from the time of exploration, we see. The Uganda being so very so so welcoming, and it is this hospitality that brought new ideas into Uganda because of their welcoming nature. They were able to absorb new ideas, and these ideas helped them to, in, in growing very rapidly, as opposed to some areas which were not welcoming, like uh, Bunyoro, mm? because Bunyoro during the time of exploration. Uh, the Onkama who was uh, ruling by then, that was uh, Kabaka Kamurasi. Kamurasi was able to imprison Baker, the first explorer to reach Bunyoro. So that was showing that uh, there was no uh, hospitality in Bunyoro. No wonder Buganda grew rapidly to even surpass uh, the growth of Bunyoro. Able leaders is another factor that uh, Uganda was blessed with able leaders. Example, Kabaka Kamanya, Kabaka, Kabaka Mawanda, Kabaka Semakokiro, uh, etc., etc. All these ones were so important. How important were they? Uh, they were important in the in carrying out to imperial conquests, imperial conquests and annexation. Because of this, uh, the, the kingdom had to grow. As, as earlier seen, we said that uh, it was because of the expansion that, that we, we, we had. So because of the conquest and annexation, because of the conquest and annexation, the kingdom was able to grow to greater horizons. Uh, another factor was the strong army, the strong army known as the Abamboa. And those are the ones that carried out imperial conquests in all directions, north, south, east, west. So because of a strong army, uh, it was able to raid the neighbors and add on the size of the kingdom. Another important factor is the natural resources. Buganda was blessed with the natural resources. Example, gold and many others that allowed it to grow rapidly. The weakness of the neighbors, weak neighbors like Unyoro, who were able to be raided easily. So because of the weakness of the neighbors, they were able to be raided and added and annexed. The word is an accession to add on the original Buganda making a big government. Tributes got from the conquered states. Tributes that was the taxation got from the annexed areas 
we are also uh, used to expand the kingdom. And lastly, the other monopoly over guns. Buganda was blessed to have monopoly over guns. And that's why they were carrying out these imperial conquests on the neighbors, because they were able to connect with the Arabs earlier at the host during the time of the long distance trade. So because of all this, the kingdom was able to grow and expand to greater horizons and even surpass other neighboring kingdoms.